Hi, so this is a quick video about uh, the, a joystick I designed and made. However, you gotta know why I made it first. So it all started with my last video, which was a remote controlled tractor. If you haven't seen that yet, go check it out. Um, it's kind of a fun video to watch. And in that, we were controlling it with. Hold on. We were controlling it with this, which is just a standard, you know, RC transmitter. However, the next video on the tractor is going to be controlling it with a, like a, a briefcase sort of control box. So let me show you. Alright, so here is what I have so far for the uh, control box. Again, it's still a work in progress, but it's got everything you need from a control box. You know, it's got the, it's got the GUI. It's got the blinking lights. It's got all the potentiometers. It has all the antennas. So, essentially it's just a laptop hooked to an Arduino and a radio module with a uh, Wi-Fi router kind of built into this. However, it still needs a joystick. Okay, so, origi so originally I was just going to use one of these, which is a, um, they're sold as Arduino joystick modules, but it's meant to have one of those little thumb, you know, grips on it, and you, kind of like goes on an Xbox controller. And you can hook up to an Arduino really easily, and I was going to print a handle like this, and stick it on there and then now use that as my joystick. However, I found out that the springs inside here aren't meant for something this heavy. Um, so it's just kind of limp and it, when you move it to the side, it doesn't always come back. So that, that, that wasn't an option. So I basically just you know took to CAD and designed my own from scratch. Now admittedly it is a little bit larger. Um, however, for what I'm doing, that doesn't really matter. And this one feels way better when you move it. Um, so I'll show you how it works. So to maintain the joystick in the center, it actually uses these rubber bands as essentially springs. And there's a center bit that rotates, which has a tab at the very bottom. And when it moves, it will move these um, followers up and down and stretch the rubber bands. And it has that in both axes. Um, the rubber bands I used in this are very small rubber bands. I found them on Amazon. I actually bought a pound of them, which turns out is a lot of rubber bands. Did not intend to get this many of them, but it was also like $5. So that's a deal if I've ever seen it. In order for the Arduino to actually know where the position of the joystick is, it needs to have two potentiometers, one on each axis, so that you can analog, re analog read the position of each in each direction. So you can see that there's one under this cover and there's also one under this cover right here. I will put up a exploded view as well as some animations of the CAD right now so that you can see better how it goes together and get an idea of how it works. So I was really happy with how this joystick came out. Um, I think it's gonna do really well in the box. 
I upload all the files for this to Thingiverse in case anyone else wants to use it in one of their projects. You know, go ahead and download it and you know, let me know if you use it. That would be really cool to see you know, what projects you guys are using it in. Um, so stay tuned for the next tractor video with the control box. Um, should be suck sometime soon. It'll take a little longer than usual because I have school and other things going on. Um, but yep, this will be in there. So subscribe for more tractor stuff. You know, all the YouTube stuff. See you guys next time.